Hi everyone. <clears throat> We're going to try to do this in real time. I might have to speed some of it up. And I'm not quite sure. Trying a new angle, so we're going to try our best here with showing you what I'm working with. My Junior Arc Planner. And I'm using some free printables. And as you can see, these are going to be small for my boxes, but we're going to work with that. I brought my tweezers. And I'm just trimming the stickers down so that they fit. And then, see, I'll have this for another one that I could use as a flag or whatever. I could use this as a measurement. I shouldn't have stuck it down. <laughs> okay, maybe I should put it across here. And then what I can do just make a mark and get my ruler. line it up to the paper. Then those should be trimmed down to where they need to be. I'm not sure if I cut them through. I don't think so. Maybe. Everybody is excited for Easter this year. If you guys have little kids, if you guys actually go and hide Easter eggs, or if you have a different tradition or anything. If you do, I would love to know what you guys do. My kids are all grown, so we really don't do much anymore. Um, the only thing that I do like to do is uh, the decorating of the Easter eggs, which is really fun. Um, Sometimes we do the traditional, but usually we um, decorate them with uh, wax, doing the, I know people say it so many different ways, but um, the pasanke, or pasanke, however you'd like to say it, the uh, Hungarian or Yugoslavian way of decorating eggs, so you're actually putting wax on the egg and then you dip it into the egg coloring and where you put the wax stays white and then if you put more wax on after that wherever you put the wax it stays the color of the dye you just dunked it in which my kids always enjoyed and I thought was awesome and I'm gonna lay these out I guess pretty much the way that they were going across just to make things easier and staggering them a little bit because I do put my exercise down in first thing in the morning and you can see here I did cut that a little short so I think I'm going to center them next because if I try to pull this up it might tear, it'll tear the paper Let's see if I can get it up without tearing the paper nah it's going to tear the paper See, you get it live with all the defects, guys. <laughs> it's just I turned the sticker, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to turn this so it's a little easier to center in between these lines. 
and you could just put it up against the side and run washi down but um yeah I'm not I'm not bothered by it like I said this is just for what I'm going to be doing for the week so I'm okay with it being a little bit off and it's just going to be like a little board so I could even doodle around it that way let's see Friday and Saturday is my weekend so I really kind of leave that for try to leave it for more fun things unless other things come up so I can use these tiny ones for little things going on there when they come up let's see and then um probably gonna stagger almost like um old school Bargello and by that I'll show you what I mean come down and underneath probably leave a little space because I do like white line planning um, I'm trying to think what I want to use these ones for okay I am going to bring them long ways because I want to be able to write next to them I'm going to leave two spaces just in case I have something I want to put in between and maybe another header and this one is pink and get that extra bit off of here where they are connected and Bargello is one over and down and that's, I believe that's an old embroidery stitch um, but I do like the look of that because it actually it keeps the colors so that they're not so random but so they're not directly under each other too so you get a little bit of change up in there hopefully this video doesn't end up being super long And then this one will actually have, be on Friday, which will give, be great for any things that I've got planned going on there. And this is all going to be um, left white planning. I'm not going to put any ink on it. do I want to put on there next? Hmm. I think what I'm going to do actually is use because hmm, these are all going to be on the shorter side anyway I'm going to use some of these smaller ones Top, I guess and use them for dividers along my bottom or where I put my scale and I'm going to keep them because um, I keep a average paint scale on the bottom just so I have that for records for the doctor with the fibromyalgia and everything so and get them going across the bottom and then this way what I could do is repeat the colors and I'm still kind of using the leftover scraps and then we'll start repeating Just to use those up. And I have yet to find stickers that are free printables. Like this was a free printable online that actually print out and fit the planners. And I've adjusted these sizes 
and unless you make them like even when you make them really big then you can cut these boxes down to fit but even these they're not long enough so when you turn them on your side every once in a while you're lucky if you get a right cut because none of these seem to match up um, so just you know keep that in mind when you get the free printables sometimes it's better just I guess to put the money out for them and I think let's see do I want to put anything here okay I will put there's a bunch of these little word stickers on the bottom so I'm going to try to space these out the best that I can for what I think I might have to do usually Monday and Tuesday are my more busy days so I will put the to do there and Hmm. Let's see. Thursday, I will put my email up here. You'll put important here, things that I need to take care of. I'm going to put latte here because it would be more of a relaxing day for me for Friday. Now Wednesday is usually a cleaning day for me so I'm going to put cleaning, but since it's yellow, I'm going to put it down here, because I do have other things I could put in here, and then I'm going to put random stuff here, and I know I have email there, but I do have a bunch of random things that I try to get done on Thursday evening. Okay, I think that's it that I'm going to use, actually, from this set, because I'm really not too happy with them. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to look at the stickers I made and pull out some to use. I'm going to pull out my ravens. And these I just make for myself. You can't, you know, I haven't been able to find a lot of the stickers that I like, so I just end up doing them myself. And you get what you want in the size that you need. But. A lot of what I do here on Monday is pertaining to my YouTube and my blog. Um, let's see. Cleaning, so I have my cleaning bucket stickers. I'm trying to peel one up here. When I kiss cut these ones, I kind of cut them a little too strongly. <laughs> okay, to clean, so I will put the cleaning bucket there. It's like right next to it, what I need to do. Wednesday is usually a wash day as well for me for laundry. I'm going to put this kind of on the opposite side here. And I'm going to use my sneaker stickers here if I could get these peeled up. Hmm. I'm going to be able to get them peeled up. There we go. And this I use for tracking how much exercise I do for that day, if I do any. Um, some days are better than others, you know, like anybody else. Sometimes we get extra time, sometimes we're feeling okay. 
um, Saturday and Sunday I actually keep as a non-exercise day minus, you know, the stretching maybe. Sorry for the crinkling, guys. And I have my um, yin yangs, uh, which are the symbol of the um, taigong, which is for tai chi or meditation, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, and I make sure to try to get that in as well. So if I do that, I will write that. So I kind of use my exercise workout stickers. Um, interchangeably but it does break it up instead of having sneakers going straight across the page normally for my pain scale I would put my butterflies for um, fibromyalgia and uh, thyroid but I don't know if I want to put them on this week. And I have my medicine bottles, which I have to get some refilled, so I'm going to have to put this down so I remember to do that. So that will be one of the first things that I need to do. Let's see. I know when I do my filming, I usually make some blog posts, so I have my blog stickers. And I'll spread that over two days, because sometimes... I'll put it here, because these are usually where I'm going to put my blog posts. Sometimes it takes a little bit to write those up. And let's see... I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. And I'm not quite sure what I want to decorate over here with because, I mean, like I said, I'm really not too fond of these stickers. I might just forget it and just line the stickers up and down just to use them. But um, if I do, if you follow me on um, social media, you'll either see it on my blog post or on Instagram. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the plan with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Here's the um, what I did to kind of fix it so I can tolerate it. Um, I used up some extra stickers and put some of the uh, gradient check boxes um, into some of the other stickers just to use them up and actually make it easier to write upon and actually see if I want to use a different color pen. Um, I used some titles over here and some extra boxes, double stuck, and I stacked them on top of each other again here. So there's three stickers and over here. And I changed the two gradient boxes here to um, my water intake, and you can see I did that. And then in the spaces in between, I just did some um, lettering just to fill in that space so it doesn't look so off, I guess, and um, I'll just use my uh, writing and stuff to fill out the rest of this to actually make it work for me. But just showing you, you can take a off, or in your opinion, you know, in my opinion in this case, uh, I'm not happy with the layout, so I can alter it after stickers are already done without having to waste your pages. But thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button so I know and I'll continue doing them. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Have a great day.